Good morning from beautiful Beverly Hills, California. I'm Christoph Chu with the Christoph Chu Real Estate Group, and I've been selling real estate now for 33 years. I want to share with you a little bit about the housing market forecast in real estate for 2022 and let you know what's going on here specifically in our LA Beverly Hills West Side luxury market. Well, the interesting thing is there's a lot of talk out there and rumor in the media, particularly trying to give a negative slant on the real estate market. However, if you really look at the data and the facts, that's really not the case. Just like when COVID started a couple of years ago, everyone was worried the market's going to crash. We're going to see a flood of foreclosures. We did a lot of videos because the data simply did not support uh, those thoughts and opinions. So these are, of course, still opinions, but I do believe they are correct. So I thought I'd share a little bit about that for you. So right now, even though a lot of buyers out there think, oh my God, the market's going to drop, prices are going to go down, that's simply not the case. The forecast for price appreciation across the United States through this year is based on seven different forecasters. One is the MBA Mortgage Brokers Association, Zellman, NAR, HPES, CoreLogic, Freddie Mac, and Fannie Mae. So right now, the uh, expected price appreciation in the United States is between 6.2% to 10.8%. And this is actually upgraded since the forecast before the end of last year. So the average forecast for price appreciation in the United States this year is 9%. Why is that? As stock markets go down, as crypto goes down, and as the um, world financial markets kind of change and shift, people put their money back in real estate. And also with inflation, the best hedge against inflation is real estate. Now, part of real estate has been fueled by the low mortgage rates, of course, uh, and mortgage rates are expected to continue to rise. They've risen almost two points in the last few months very, very quickly, and they're expected to rise even further towards the end of the year. We might even see rates as high as 6%. But when you look historically, we're still at very close to historically low rates. And back when I started, rates were 16 17%. So 6% is still a pretty darn good deal. And in terms of home sale projections, we will see a little dip in the number of home sales this year, because as rates go up, particularly the first-time buyer market, there will be buyers that will not be able to afford their first time home because rates have gone up substantially. So that will affect the number of sales and we're still low overall in inventory. So right now the total home sale forecast is they're forecasting a 6.3% uh, increase in home sales uh, by NAR. Fannie Mae is uh, suggesting 6.4% increase. Freddie Mac is suggesting a 6.7% increase and the Mortgage Brokers Association is suggesting a 6.9% increase. So overall, it looks like the number of sales is going to continue to increase, interest rates will increase, and um, values will increase possibly by 10% this year. So it's still an excellent time to buy. So what's going on specifically in our LA West Side luxury market? And we're, out, we're now in June of 2022, so we have almost all the data for six months. And our luxury market here is 5 million plus. That includes Beverly Hills, Bel Air, Beverly Hills Post Office, Homeby Hills, Brentwood, Las Feliz, Hancock Park, Malibu, Century City, Hollywood Hills, Sunset Strip. Uh, so, so those are some of the main areas that we're talking about. So right now, so far this year, there've been 477 closed sales over $5 million compared to 451 in 2021. So we're up about 5% year over year in terms of the number of sales over 5 million. So that's somewhat in alignment with the projections of, uh, of the uh, different economists. There have been 165 sales this year over 10 million compared to 148 in 2021. That's an 11% increase in the $10 million plus properties. So what you'll find interesting as I go through the rest of the data, the higher the price point, the higher the number of sales. So obviously the super rich who, have, who can afford a 20, 30, $40 million plus home, they believe in the marketplace and that's why they're continuing to buy. So in our $40 million plus range here in the west side of LA, we've had 13 sales so far this year over 40 million versus six in 2021. That's almost double what it was last year. It's pretty significant. Uh, and that was higher than the year before, of course. Uh, and the $30 million plus sales, we have 21 sales so far in 2022 versus um, 11 in 2021. So we're up 90%. So again, almost double in the $30 million price range. And there are currently three sales pending over 30 million in our marketplace. 20 million plus, it's not quite as strong. We have 42 sales so far closed this year uh, versus 38 in 2021. So we're up 10%. And there are currently eight homes pending over 20 million in our marketplace. 10 million plus, we have 165 sales in 2021 versus 148 in, I'm sorry, <laughs> 
165 sales in 2022 versus 148 in 2021. So we're up about 11%. And we have 28 pending sales currently over 10 million. And then 5 million plus we spoke about earlier, 477 sales this year versus 451 in 2021. So we're up about 5%. And overall, there are 96 pending home sales right now, over 5 million in our marketplace. Now, what are the top areas where people are buying properties specifically over 20 million? And again, there were 42 sales so far this year. So Beverly Hills is always towards the top of the list. We have six uh, properties sold in Beverly Hills over 20 million. Eight in Beverly Hills Post Office. That's kind of unusual. We don't typically see that many sales in the Beverly Hills Post Office area. And for those of you that aren't aware, Beverly Hills Post Office is a Beverly Hills address in Beverly Hills, California, 90210, but you're technically in the city of Los Angeles. So it's in the hills just directly above the city of Beverly Hills. But we have gated communities like Beverly Park um, and other communities there where homes can be 20, 30, 40, 100 plus million. There's some listings up for 150 million currently. So six sales in Beverly Hills, eight in Beverly Hills Post Office, seven in Bel Air. Bel Air is always uh, on the top. Uh, Malibu, there have been nine significant sales in Malibu over 20 million. One in the Sunset Strip. The Sunset Strip has seen a little bit of a slowdown. Um, Holmby Hills has had one, two in Hancock Park this year, which is a little bit more than usual. Hancock Park is a, an older established community that was kind of established early in the 1920s. Uh, kind of in the center of Los Angeles, and they've had two significant sales, over 20 million, one in Brentwood and seven in Pacific Palisades. So overall, the market is continuing to be very, very strong, particularly the higher end you go, and with projected price appreciation of six to 10%, uh, projected sales increases of six to 7%, uh, the market is strong and healthy. And like I said, rates will continue to go up very likely this year which will affect some of the buyers in the marketplace. However, in our luxury market, very few homes are purchased with mortgages. It's primarily a cash market, which is part of why we're seeing still very, very strong sales in our upper markets here in the LA luxury marketplace. So I hope that's helpful to you, giving you a little uh, tidbit of information of what's going on here in Los Angeles and Beverly Hills in the West Side. If you're looking to purchase a home or sell your home, I'm Christoph Chu with Coldwell Banker Global Luxury in Beverly Hills. And we'd be happy to serve you with all your real estate needs. Thanks so much and I hope you enjoy this video and stay tuned for the next one. And if you like, subscribe to our channel. You get updates on all of our new videos, market updates, property tours, and just all around the fun lifestyle of Beverly Hills, NLA in the luxury world. Thanks so much and I'll see you all real soon.